FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, it's sunny on the beach and it's cloudy over land, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We've got a slightly mixed bag out here. That mix is coming from the semis, which are up seven points. Otherwise, you've got the Dow back 93, S&P's off six, NASDAQ 100 down 44, Russell's off two, Trannies are down 23, Gold's off eight bucks, Silver's down 39 cents, Lights be Crude is off $3.59, Train out at 106.20. And you've got the 30 year Treasury up one and a half points, Train out at 138.13. So what do we have going on out here? Well, we've got a number of different things. If we take a look at our index ETFs, you've got two test and rejections of key swing points. One coming from the Qs, and that's testing the swing point from the trading day of June 16th. That did volume of 81 million shares. We're at 53 million shares right now. Let me see if I can pull this up real quickly to do the straight line math on that. So we are at 50, just trying to see where we're at. We're at uh, 53 million. We've been trading for four and a half hours. That gives us 76 million shares. Okay, so it looks like we're going to test and reject the 276.06 level with less than 81 million shares. That says, you, and we're testing the bottom of its uh, uh, daily profile. Can't bust them down. Price is going to go. It looks like the world's not coming to an end today on June 30th. And that's a wonderful thing. That's the same message coming from the IWM. That's rejecting the top of its swing point. That swing point was from the trading day of June the 16th. Volume near 43 million shares. So far today, you've done 16. Well, less than that, no matter how we take a look at it. And the case of the spies and the dial diamonds, they're testing and holding the support level of the bottom of their profile. So what you've got there is you've got uh, can't bust them down, should try to bust them to the upside. Let's go switch over and take a look at our indice charts, see what cash indice charts that is, see what they're communicating to us. And what they're communicating to us, the Dow pulling back, testing, rejecting that red oscillator and change line could be setting up the C point of an A to B equals CD. The same for the S&P 500, which is testing, rejecting that 3772 level. The same for the NDX 100, which was 11478. The same for the Russell 2000, which is at 1708. Now, the semiconductors have also tested their swing point low. That was a TD9 count bottom, so that remains in place out there. And it's also doing it with lighter volume. But what the semis need to do is they have got to close above that 2615 level. That's that red oscillator again change line. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next after Dave. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be recording tomorrow's Trader's Ed show from 8 to 9. So please join us live then. Have a terrific Thursday. If I don't speak to you before tomorrow or after or till tomorrow, I want you to have a fantastic July. Be safe out there. And shoot off lots of fireworks. Take care. Everybody.